Okay, so, you know, all, saying all of that to sort of, you know, sort of come around your story as your, you know, the deep impact, obviously, of your parents and the people don't sufficiently realize sort of the, the anti-institutional element in homeschooling because it's, you know, so often you read in the, in the secular media, all of this suspicion and alarm at, at homeschooling, you know, these homeschoolers are, you know, how dare they educate their own children? <laughs> and then to listen to like Brett and Heather Weinstein um, or Heather Hying and Brett Weinstein sort of become neo-traditionalists with the family. And, but so it's, it's not surprising that the suspicion of institutions that your parents exhibited in the choice to homeschool all of you also was there in terms of the church. Mm. And I love, I love what you said about um, noticing that, well, it isn't just church people who are looking for the perfect church. We're all looking for that community. And in a sense, every parent tries their hand at creating it with a family and fails. Mm. And then every friend group, because you, you sort of begin with the family as your friend group, and especially if you're homeschooled, I mean, that really creates tight bonds between the sibling, especially if the parents are doing a good job. And, mm -hmm. and you all, you know, one of the things, it's not uncommon to hear other parents complain about how their children don't get along. Uh, my children get along quite well together. It doesn't mean they don't have, you know, favorites or get sideways with each other. But, but for the most part, the experience of homeschooling taught them how to, you know, have differences and mend fences and, um, and look to each other and trust each other in a deep way. So just last weekend, we, we had all of the kids together. We were visiting my son in Cayucos down the coast. And